somehow. This is it. See each other? Fantastic. Okay. Great, lovable Robin Williams took his own life on August 11th, 2014, due to what is thought to have been bipolar disorder. About 2.6% of adult Americans also suffer from bipolar disorder. As the psychologist researcher Margarita Kartakovsky, Lucas da Silva Costa et al. believe that compared to all other major psychological disorders, greater in bipolar. This is scary, so we must be aware of the symptoms and treatment for it so we prevent such tragedies. So my name is Charlene. I'm a clinical psychology major, uh, studying to be a mental health professional. Mental Today, I will inform you specifically about bipolar disorder. I'll go over the characteristics and symptoms, types of bipolar disorders, and treatments available. So what is bipolar disorder? It's a mood disorder that causes the afflicted to suffer periods of mania and depression, with periods of stability. The National Institutes of Health explains this very well. Mania is characterized by unusually high and High energy and elation with irritability. Hypomania is a, like a less severe version of mania, where people can function a lot better with manageable. The common behaviors of mania, mania are talking fast, sleep problems, restlessness, difficulty focusing, risk-taking, and even enhanced charisma and charm. It can be the life of the party and very charming and appealing. They may feel very creative and compelled to start projects that they may that may often go unfinished. The writer Rand Richard Cooper commented on Robin Robin Williams' bipolar behaviors. He said more than most comedians, Williams exemplified the cliche of the funny man being an introverted sad man. His MO in performance was to mine a pathological condition, mania, and turn it into comic gold. When depressive symptoms occur in bipolar, they are often severe. They, there are feelings of hopelessness, sleep and appetite problems, and um, fantasies of suicide, or unfortunately, of suicide. Hallucinations or delusions may occur during extreme influxes of both depression and mania. There are triggers for manifestations of manic and depressive episodes. Common ones, or grief from death, breakups, pregnancy, or job loss, using medications without consulting a psychiatrist, or other substances like drugs or alcohol. As we've covered, the devastating manic and depressive episodes of bipolar disorder can, tr can be triggered and really cripple the quality of life for that in individual. Next, let's look at the ways these symptoms may vary across different categories of the disorder. So, so the four, bi bipolar one, those are the four main ones. Bipolar one, in, which is the most um, common, individuals go through manic and depressive symptoms in different durations, on average lasting around 13 weeks. Bipolar two is similar to bipolar one, however, mania is less severe and more manageable, called hypomania. Cyclothemia is a, for is a mild form of bipolar with cycles of hypomania, so mild mania, mania and depression. Episodes are less severe, but they last longer for longer durations, up to years. So you can have like a two year depression and followed by another year mania. Um, mixed ex episodes, the next one, they feel both manic and depressed at the same time. It's very confusing and overwhelming. Somebody could feel hopeless about something, but excited and overly impulsive at the same time, which is that that is very risky might lead to dangerous behaviors. And then lastly, rapid cycling, where the cycle between manic and depressive symptoms as um, cycles as often as several times a day, <clears throat> weeks or months, but it has a requirement of occurring at least four times um, a year to be considered rapid. So although there are several forms of bipolar disorder, they all share the common traits of cycles between the elation and depression. Bipolar seems like a dark prognosis. There is hope for our sufferers of this mental illness. 
Bipolar disorder is often diagnosed in the late teens or early adulthood and will carry on throughout the rest of their lives. However, its symptoms can be treated in tra by trained mental health prof uh, professionals through assessment. Psychiatrist David Janowski suggests psychotherapy and medication, medication such as tricyclic antidepressants, lithium, and inhibitors to level out extreme emotions. Mood stabilizers like lithium are the most common form of medication used to treat the bipolar disorder. Antipsychotics are also sometimes prescribed in the early weeks where the lithium needs to, uh, more time to kick. With proper treatment, bipolar individuals can live a functional and happy life. So in conclusion, symptoms of bipolar disorder can be subdued. However, there will always be a little extra weight that these sufferers can carry. Instability of manic and depressive cycles may interfere with function, happiness, and even safety. We must be sensitive towards the sufferer and encourage psychotherapy and medication if necessary. Mental illness, like bipolar disorder, has consequences left untreated. So although Robin Williams tragically took his own life in a moment of weakness, he left behind so many inspirational messages as well as laughs. Nope. I'll leave you on this note. Let's remember, you'll always you'll have bedtimes, but it'll always wake you up to the good stuff you weren't paying attention to. Robin Williams. Thank you. <laughs>